Hey guys, welcome to Make It Dairy Free. I am Larisha. I am blocked by a million eggnogs. And this is the ultimate vegan eggnog taste test challenge review, <laughs> whatever we're trying to do here. Um, Who has the best eggnog is what this is all about. Yes, so we did an eggnog three years, I was gonna say five years ago, but I'm wrong. Three years ago, Okay. and we had five. That's where the five came from. Ah, <laughs> okay, yeah. There was only five on the market that we could find at mm -hmm. the time. Obviously, a lot has changed in three years, and there are 16, and this is not all of them. I had two more written down that I could not find. There are 16 vegan eggnogs that we were able to find, and we are going to try every single one of them. You're excited. Yeah. <laughs> so excited. Do you have a prediction on who will win? Let's talk about so My the one. My stomach ones... isn't gonna win at all. <laughs> I'll tell you that. So delicious, Khalifa. What's this? Silk almond breeze. <laughs> And this looks different than three years ago, but it is not. So these were the five that were in our first one. So there are a lot of newcomers, a lot of store-bought brands. So like Whole Foods has their own, Trader Joe's has their own, Target has their own now, and then some other like bigger name brands. We like the Slow Delicious uh -huh. one. We've continued to buy that over the years. But have we? sometimes, <laughs> that's the only one we bought. I, I guess I haven't realized we like, <laughs> Well, that's because you don't get to go to the store, so you just drink what's in the house. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but sometimes, like, the store brands, like, come out and, like, knock it out of the park because they're probably using one of these with just their label on it. Yeah. So you don't know. The price list where you can find all of these will be in the blog post, which will be linked in the description. There is finally a liquor version of dairy-free eggnog. If you guys are new to this, we will link the last time Andrew tried liquor. <laughs> In a video, Andrew does not drink whatsoever. I rarely drink, but this is official uh, whiskey-based eggnog. Whiskey. Yeah, it's whiskey. That's what that's what traditionally eggnog is made with. Is whiskey. Okay. So uh, I'm not I'm not concerned what it's traditionally made with. I'm concerned what I'm going to be drinking. You've never had whiskey before, have you? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> So this is gonna be fun, stay tuned, because no, Andrew is determined to spit one of these out. Don't tune anything, don't stay, <laughs> just leave right now, it's gonna be a disaster. All right, let's get into trying them. All right, so we are going to start with the five store brands that we uh, found, and so the first one is Sprouts. Uh, three of them are oat-based, and then two of them are almond-based, so they could differ just simply based on that. And we're also just drinking straight out of here, because it would be a lot of cups and a lot of washing. Why does it seem like you took so much of it? I didn't take that. It's probably like a tablespoon. You measured it in your mouth? <laughs> Maybe, like a little bit. Okay. So my personal thought, I love how creamy it is. It has that like creaminess that eggnog is supposed to have, but I'm getting like a weird aftertaste, almost like a, like a, like a bubble gum, like from back. Why are you moving it? I want oh, it to so be like, you know what we should do? Whatever we choose that's going to be number one. Oh, it stays here? Put it in the front, okay. and then whatever we have that goes next just knocks out number one. Because nobody really cares about two, three, or four, or five, or six. Or 16. They, yeah, they just want to know, no, at least I know I want to know number one. Okay. And then if number one isn't available, then I care about those other ones. Got it. Personally, that's my opinion, but I'm just speaking for everybody. Oh, we also didn't, this is Sprouts, by the way. <laughs> it's from Sprouts. Yes. Um. So what do you think? Do you get a weird aftertaste or do you just like it? I feel like it's also not spiced as much as I'd like an eggnog to be spiced. I have no idea what she's talking about. It's spiced perfectly. It's very thick. It tastes awesome and I, I don't know. I don't have no funky after demon thing, whatever you said. After uh, spicy. After demon? Is that what you just said? I don't know what you said. You said after. After taste. After taste. I lost the words. All right. This one is almond. Or almond. It is almond. Aldi's friendly farm brand. It, That's not it. It tastes watered down. And I don't really taste any spice, like whatsoever. I don't know if that tongue's working. Mine? Yeah, other than as a measuring spoon. 
Um, but yeah, this this seems this seems like it, it tastes more like a like a peppermint to me. Like I don't I don't really get the like the way it's flavored. Minty. It yeah, it doesn't taste like. I don't know. That's my opinion. Why you gotta make fun of my opinion? I'm like as I'm making fun of her opinion, right? It tastes like creamier oat milk. It doesn't taste like eggnog Did at all. Did you tell them what brand that was? Yeah, Aldi. This one? No, this is Target. Okay. <laughs> it's thick. But do you get eggnog? I just taste oat milk. Like it has that, like you know how some oat milks have like an oat taste at the end? Like that's what I taste. Yeah, I don't, I don't taste really eggnog to me. Um, and I don't get any of the I do spice. get the oat milk taste, uh, so I agree with you there. Okay. Well, I still put it above all day one. Though. Yes. All right, this is 365, which is Whole Foods brand. Whoa, it like popped out at me. Um, this is also an almond based one. Is that the only one that says vegan? Oh, oh no, that one says vegan on it too. Mm -mm. It's better, it's better than the Aldi one. Yeah. I would say it's about the same to me. No, I actually they have a like weird a, aftertaste. So you know like Maybe we don't like almond ones. I'm wondering if like the flavoring is like an extract that's being used cuz that's what I taste. Like it almost tastes like there's an extract in there rather than like you know, at like actually flavoring it with yeah. like spices or something. I don't know if that's in there. I'm just saying that's the taste that well, I get. Well, this one's, the Whole Foods one doesn't even list a spice in there. It just says natural flavor. Oh, well, there you go. All right, this one is Trader Joe's. What is, where did this come from? I have no idea. Oh, from you spilling the stuff? Yeah, you close your eyes. You it helps it. you like use your other senses when you close your eyes. No. I don't, it's not as good as this one, obviously. It's not bad. No, um, it's not, it's not, it's not gonna knock this one off but the But I don't right think now. it's as good as this one, either, the Target one. Really? Okay, it's better than Target. Yes? About the same to me. I wouldn't say better. So I wouldn't argue if you put Target above. Yeah. I wouldn't argue. Okay, so. Wait, I thought you were putting Target above. Oh, my, no, this, I was saying I would put this one above. Oh, got it, got it. Above got Target. It, got it. Um, so unfortunately for half, Unfortunately? Unfortunately for half the country that doesn't have Sprout. Oh, got this it. This is the number one so far. So, um, let's do ones that we haven't tried before. Dun, 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 we have five more, right? I'm trying to keep it five-ish. Okay. Okay. All right, we had we had pulled the ones off there before we started, but these all have the little <laughs> clip things. All right, so this is Good Karma, and Good Karma is a flax base, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this one is the nut-free one so far. <coughs> it tastes nut-free. It tastes like perfumey. Almost. You get that? It tastes really watery. All right, this one. Oh, I just got that on me. This one is from Natural by Nature. I actually didn't think, I saw this one online, but I didn't think I was gonna be able to find it. And mm -hmm. then we have a mom's organic market and they actually had it. So um, it is also oat based. This smells nice. Do I gotta taste this one again? They taste the same to me. Like literally like almost exactly the same. I actually feel like this one has maybe a little bit more spice in it. Mm. Do you feel like that? Hold them both up here. We gotta, we gotta keep those around. <laughs> we have to keep these guys around to uh, 
verify later. All right, this is Chobani's against each other. Uh, oat milk based oat nog. Kind of nog is this? Hmm. I don't know that I would say eggnog, but it's a nice spiced oat milk. It's what it's more watery than these. So I wouldn't you don't like it at all, do you? I mean I feel it's like definitely face. not eggnog. Like there's no eggnog flavor in there for me. Not after tasting those ones. Yeah. The flavor I get out of that is like It's almost like pumpkin spice nog. Okay. That's not a thing. Pumpkin spice milk? No. That's not what I was saying. Cinnamon milk? I'm gonna let it go. I, Cause I can't, I thought I had something, but now I feel like I should what be questioning what I thought. I thought I had something. I can't even remember it now. <laughs> Sorry. Like I, I had something and you just pumpkin spice nogged me. I don't, where would you put this though, back here? I mean, it's it, like, it, it tastes nice, but don't taste like eggnog to me. Does it taste like eggnog to you? No, I'm saying it just tastes like spiced oat milk but not like eggnog, and it's also much thinner. Yeah, I imagine drinking this like w warmed up from Starbucks and it's called like something like vanilla something latte or something. Like it, it don't taste like eggnog. I do think like if you're just looking for a different thing, like this tastes good, but it doesn't taste like eggnog. Yeah. Like, so like it can't compare to the video. Yeah. But like. I feel like it's got more of like a I don't know, coffee flavoring. Like a chai. Yeah, something like that. We don't drink coffee, so we have no we idea. Really <laughs> Clueless. Uh, this is Milkadamia's eggnog. It is not nut based. I don't, where are the ingredients? Is it there? macadamia's nuts? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I forgot, like that's their whole brand. Milkadamia, macadamia. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Where are you pouring that? Mm. I heard that uh, macadamia nuts are good for your hair. And your chin? <laughs> oh God, it's everywhere. I don't know, was, was that your fault? I think it's because of like the, the way the bottle is, it kind of comes out weird. All right, you try. I need to try it I mean, again because I don't you know. You have like. I need another napkin. You, we need a few of them the way you kind of went after this thing. <laughs> like this is crazy. Okay. All right, let's see. It's thick, has some flavor, but it's way too light. This one. At all? It's not horrible. Like it's edible. I think it's better than all these. Like I think it's more like here. Okay. Oh, I don't like the almond ones at all. So I'll leave it there. <laughs> Why do you think you don't like the almond ones? I taste the, the almond. Is there a consistency the, there? Well, they're always thinner. And to me, I taste like the the nut base. I guess. Mm. Um, this is Elmhurst. Uh, oat nog blended with cashews. So it's a cashew oat. Okay. It's not as creamy, which is crazy because you have both oats and the cashews. So you would think it would be the creamiest one we've tried so far, but it's definitely thinner. Yeah. Not as thick as you want a, an eggnog to be. Mm -hmm. um, I don't particularly mind the taste though, I don't think. I don't mind the taste. Um, but it is up there where, where I still taste the, I still taste the nuts, the cashews, I guess, in this case. I don't feel like that. I don't know what it is other than the fact that it's just, so for the taste test, what we're trying to do is compare it to a Eggnog we remember. Right, which is thick. Heavily spiced, nice and thick, extremely smooth, like that kind of thing, right? Yes. So 
That to me, it just doesn't meet the heavily spiced area. It isn't smooth as in like a thick smooth. It's more like a water smooth. Yeah. In in my opinion. Um, and I don't know, it just doesn't, like even the way it was spiced, it just doesn't hit the nog. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Um, this is technically not eggnog, <laughs> but I got it because it says coconut nog on it, but it's actually from Harmless Harvest and it says it's a smoothie. So I thought that it would just be a nice addition to the video for maybe people that need a smoothie on the go and see it for a limited holiday to see what it tastes like. It's fun. Doesn't it look like there's like pieces of coconut in there? Yeah, I am still stuck on the fact that this is an eggnog and you kind of decided to just toss in the video though. Oh! Okay, yeah, go ahead, keep it. You're good. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're okay. I think. Maybe. Oh! <laughs> I gotta get water. <laughs> Alright. No. We made an agreement. That, you told them. That. That you would try everything we got for a taste test. I've never remembered that ever. Well, I, what someone video was find that? it. Now, what video was that? I don't remember. No, absolutely not. You have to try it. You sound like you were gonna vomit. Why am I gonna <laughs> put this in my mouth? Like, why would I put that in my mouth after Just that? Just a little bit. No. You might love it. But it doesn't even smell good. Try it. <laughs> try it. Just a sip. Why would you put this in your mouth? Why? It looks gross. Well, we didn't look at the other ones. You didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Yes. Maybe later. I can't no, do it. No, right now. No. We're on this one. <laughs> no, you're on this one. I can't do it. Try it. Move on to the next one. Why? Because this is You have to try it before good. the video is done. No, I don't <laughs> have to do anything. Do. No. That's not fair. What's not fair? That I have to try all of it and you didn't try it. I'm the one who asked you, why would you get this? <laughs> like, I, I wouldn't have got it in the first place. You should try it. We just spent our money on it. <laughs> all right, this is Khalifa Farms Holiday Nog. It is also, <clears throat> um, it's almond based. I get the artificial, almond, oh. like perfumey taste to this too. Yeah, this one's uh, that one's rough. I don't know what they did to that, but that's not good. I really wonder how some stuff just gets on the market. I know. So delicious. Um, coconut milk base. Why are you looking like that? You don't like it? Nowhere near as much as I like the ones that we have up here. Really? That's it to you right there? No, I still think that these two come above it, but as far as like brands that people can buy, I still think it comes above all of the other ones. I, comparing it to the other ones, I still, I honestly think it sits like right around these, this right here. So oh, if you want to put it, if you want to put it up here as like a number three, <laughs> then go for it. But yeah, it, so but you look so, like you liked it a lot. I do. It's creamy. It's, but it's not as creamy as these, like not even like these are super creamy. Okay. It's not as creamy. Um, and I still feel like it needs to be spiced a little bit more. Okay. But again, when we're comparing them to all these other ones. I want my glasses. Oh, okay, yeah, and on me. This is almond breeze, so it is almond based. Almond breeze, almond based. No? It's creamy. I feel like it has some spice. To me, it still could be Dumar, but it's the almond taste. Like, I don't want to taste that in my eggnog. I don't know what you're talking about, almond taste, to be honest with you. I 
feel like I'm like hypersensitive to like almond nut taste and like milks and stuff versus like, like I guess like some people who they feel like they can taste coconut and anything. I, I feel like that's how I am with like almond milks. Like I can't drink almond milk straight out of a- You should test that. What? What are we testing? Your hypersensitivity. Like maybe we blind taste test you on a bunch of different milks and see if you could tell if it has almonds in it. Maybe we should. So. Would you guys like to see that video? This is Silk. It is a soy base eggnog. Okay. Is this the only soy base one? Mmm, mm, that base. No. Nope. I feel like there's a there's a heavy uneven spice blend in there. But I don't know what it is. I don't know where this would Certainly a heavy uneven spice blend. Go. Maybe like there. All right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave for this one. You have to try that. I don't want to. Just try it. No. Come on, we have a napkin here. We have water. You might actually like it. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever said you might actually like it if you actually like it, <laughs> like in our life. Uh, no. <laughs> Why? Cuz, you're not peer pressuring me. <laughs> I'm not doing it. All right, so this is our misunderstood oat nog. That pop was like very cartoonish. Oh. Um, so it is oat base and then it has the whiskey inside of it. You wanna smell it? It smells like liquor only. Yeah. <laughs> Try it. Y'all, I'm serious, Andrew like, maybe has a glass of wine every year. <laughs> just one. And it's just wine. No beer, no whiskey, rum, vodka. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be too strong or something. Last time, the reason I spit it out though, I got too much in my mouth at the time. It went up your nose a little bit, I think. Yeah? How do you feel about that? I feel like I can smell everything. <laughs> oh, it kind of burns a little bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. If you like uh, traditional rum or whiskey based uh, liquor, you will enjoy this a lot. Um, I don't think I don't we can know how. pair it to the store bought ones though, but this is actually really good. Come on. You feel okay? I think so. Okay, so top five, what we have here. And there is a heavy, a heavy trend that we clearly like oat-based eggnogs versus almond or anything else. Okay. Oat, 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 coconut, milk. Yeah. Um, so we favor that. If you don't care for oat based ones, then try the coconut one. If not, then the almond breeze almond one would be our next favorite. Um, and then again, like we liked the Chobani taste, but it's not an eggnog. So, um, I, I didn't realize how not eggnog this was until I tasted these though. So yeah. just FYI, like, you said this was our fave. I know you had like eggnog that you would buy every once in a while. Yeah. But I didn't realize it was always this. But my point is, is that I wasn't missing anything until I tasted these. Like I, I thought, yeah. you know, you were I like, oh, it's like, fine. Like, oh yeah, this is actually pretty decent. Then I taste yeah. these and I was like, what? Yeah. This doesn't taste anything like what I remember. Yeah, this is gonna be the hardest one to find. Um, which is unfortunate. And again, this one is also hard to find because Sprouts isn't everywhere. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be the easiest one to find. And then if you have a Trader Joe or a Target, um, the thing to keep in mind about these is that they stock them usually once and then they don't really stock them again. 
So go out and get them now. Um, save them. They usually have like a, yeah, they have mid January, end of January dates on them. So you can get them now and save them for a couple of weeks. That way, like when you want them, they're there. Oh, you're trying to try. Huh? Try to cleanse your palate and try it real quick. I just want to like one more time, <laughs> see what happens kind yeah. of thing, you know? No comparison. Yeah. This is really They're good. They're so creamy. Yeah, this is really yeah. good. So. I, f I figured I would just like, you know, see what happens, but yeah. Yeah. So blog posts linked in the description with everything, where you can find these, the price on them, the ingredients, the calorie fit labels, like nutritional facts. I was like, what's that word called? <laughs> nutritional facts. I didn't know what you were talking about. I thought you were fanning something. Um, this will also be in the post with a store locator. They have a really good so store locator that says exactly where you can find this across the country. So if you want that, you can find it. This is likely the last taste test of the year. So if you have ideas for 2023, make sure that you list them in the comments so we can start working on new taste tests for you guys. We got through it, 16. Yeah. Well, 15. You did 15. Yeah, no, I'm not. You ain't often me with no weird eggnog looking thing. That wasn't even eggnog, so it's not even fair. <clears throat> yeah. Shouldn't have been in here. Mm. We good? All right, guys. We hope you have a happy holidays. You enjoy your eggnog, and we will see you in the next video. Leaving good, y'all. Have a seat. I'm so All right, so I'm giving you one of them, and then we want to know your opinion on it. Okay. Yeah. This one? All right. Yeah. All right. Ready? One, two, three, go. Sounds so bad. <laughs> okay. I don't really care for it. It's not that bad. Okay.